a residue of a function. If we are given any function, first of all, expand that function in the form of Lorentz series. There are two parts of the Lorentz series. One is analytic part. The other is principal part. In the principal part, the coefficient of one over z minus z naught is called a residue of the function at the point z naught. We denote it like this one, res, a residue of the function f at z naught, which is equal to coefficient of one over z minus z naught. And here, the coefficient of one over z minus z naught is b1. So that is the residue. Let us explain it by some examples. Now I am writing an example. In this example, we have a function f of z, which is equal to e power 1 over 3z. We can see that at z is equal to 0, it has singularity. If we differentiate, then put z is equal to 0 and f dash, we get infinity. So z is equal to zero is a singular point of this function. To find the residue of this function, we shall expand this function in the form of a Lorentz series. From the previous class, we have studied that the Taylor series of e power z at z is equal to zero is given by one plus z plus z squared divided by two factorial plus up to so on. But here now you can see that instead of z we have one over three z. So using this rule, now we can find the Lorentz series of f of z, which is e power one over three z. Just replace z by one over three z. So we have one plus z, but z is now one over 3z plus z square, but z is now 1 over 3z. So 1 over 3z square into 2 factorial and plus up to so on. Now, according to the above explanation, a residue of the function f at the point 0, this is the coefficient of 1 over z. And we can see that the coefficient of 1 over z is 1 over 3, and that is the solution. Residue of this function at z is equal to 0 is 1 over 3. Let us write another example. In this example, we have a function f of z, which is equal to z power 4 sine of 1 over z. And we can see that z is equal to 0 is a singular point of this function. Now, from the previous classes, we know that if we use the Taylor series, then the Taylor series of sine z at z is equal to 0. This is equal to z minus z cube divided by 3 factorial plus z5 divided by 5 factorial minus z7 divided by 7 factorial and plus up to so on. Now instead of z, look at this function. Here we have sine z is equal to z power 4 into sine 1 over z. So in the above formula, just replace z by 1 over z. So we can find the Taylor series of sine 1 over z, which is equal to 1 over z minus 1 over z cube. So I'm writing 1 over 3 factorial as it is, and 1 over z cube, then plus z power 5. So I'm writing 1 over 5 factorial as it is. And here now I'm writing one over z power five. And plus, now we can write 
here is minus okay this term is minus now we can write sorry let me write it as it is this term is minus so minus 1 over 7 factorial and 1 over z power 7 and plus up to so on now multiply z power 5 with each term so if we multiply with the first term we have z cube if we multiply with the second one we have z divided by 3 factorial if we multiply with the third term we have 1 over 5 factorial into z now if i multiply with the next one we have 1 over 7 factorial and this will become z cube and plus up to so on so this is now the Laurent series of the given function what is residue residue of the given function f at a point zero is the coefficient of one over z you can see from here the coefficient of one over z that is one over five factorial and that is the solution you can a little simplify by five into four into three into two into one if you multiply this you can get the Laurent series of this function a residue at poles if we are given a function f of z is equal to g of z divided by z minus z naught power n then we can see that here z is equal to z naught is a pole of order of order n how to find the residue of this function which has a pole of order n to find the residue of this function we shall use this formula a residue of the function f at the point z naught this will be equal to 1 over n minus 1 factorial into n minus 1 order differentiation and here now we'll write, we will write z minus z naught power n then f of z at the end we shall put z is equal to z naught and that will be our solution this is the general formula which we shall use to find the residue of functions which has pole of order n if the if the order is one let us say n is equal to one then how we can write that function f of z that can be written as g of z divided by z minus z naught power one because n is one now here so the in the above formula just put n is equal to 1. So residue of the function f at the point z naught is equal to 1 over 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial. 0 factorial is 1. And this is n minus 1 order derivative, but n is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. It means there is no derivative. So the above formula can be written as z minus z naught n to f of z and at the end we shall put z is equal to z naught and we will get the solution here f of z will be the whole given function this is f of z so if we substitute f of z here you can see z minus z naught will cancel with this one and the remaining function we can simplify and get the solution similarly look at here now if n is equal to 2 then in the above general formula just replace n by by 2 and we can get 
1 over 2 minus 1 factorial is again 1 factorial and 1 factorial is 1. So we don't write to write here. But n minus 1 derivative, n is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. This will become first order derivative of the given function, first order derivative. But here, now look at here, we shall write z minus z naught square because n is 2 now, n to f of z. At the end, we shall put z is equal to z naught to get the solution. Now look at once again, if n is 3, if n is 3, let us write f of z. How will be the, the shape of f of z? f of z will be equal to g of z divided by z minus z naught q. Now, let us find residue of this function at z naught. So just substitute n is equal to 3 here. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it will become 1 over 2 factorial. Put 3 here. 3 minus 1 is 2. So it will be second order differentiation. So we can write this like this one. 1 over 2 factorial n to double differentiation. This is 2, okay? z minus z naught q. This is this value. n to f of z. And at the end, we shall substitute z is equal to z naught to get the solution. That's all. Let us explain it by some examples. So, now look at this example. In this example, we are given a function f of z, which is equal to 1 over z minus iota cube n to z. And we need to find the residues of this function. So first of all, we shall find the singular points of this function. The singular points of this functions can be obtained by putting the denominator equal to zero. And you can see we have two singular points. Z is equal to iota and Z is equal to zero. Now, Z is equal to zero is a pole of order one. You can see it is a pole of order one. The power of Z is one, but on the other hand, z is equal to iota is a pole of order 3. The power of z minus iota is 3. So we shall find two residues. One at, one at z is equal to 0 and the other at z is equal to iota. Let us find the first residue. Residue of the function f at zero. This is equal to, it is a simple pole. So therefore we shall write z into f of z. At the end we shall put z is equal to zero. And if we simplify by substituting the value of f of z, the value of f of z is z minus iota q into z so z will cancel with z. And what we have now? We have one over z minus iota whole q. At the end, we shall substitute z is equal to zero. So let us do that step. So this is equal to one over zero minus iota whole cube. And from this we get one over minus iota cube. Now iota cube can be written as iota square into iota, but iota square is minus one. So minus minus will be plus. So it is equal to one over iota. So that's all. That is the residue of the function f at a point zero. Now let us find a residue of the function f at the point iota, but you can see iota is now 
a pole of order three. So here I will write one over n minus one factorial. So n is three, so it will become one over two factorial. D n minus one over d z power n minus one. In other words, n minus one th order derivatives, but n is three, so we shall write d square over d z square. I am just substituting values in the general formula, and here we shall write z minus iota q n to f of z. At the end, we shall substitute z is equal to iota in this function. Now let us simplify this. One over two factorial is equal to one over two d square over d z square. It will be as it is. Here is z minus iota cube, and here the value of f of z of the given function that is equal to z minus iota cube n to z. Now look at this one z minus iota cube will cancel with z minus iota cube so we get one over two n two d square over d z square of one over z at the end we shall substitute z is equal to iota in this question let us say this is one now the task is to double differentiate one over z so i will let here that let g is equal to one over z, and now I need to differentiate g. So g dash is equal to minus one over z square. Differentiate it once again. G double dash, that is equal to two over z cube. Let us plug in this in one. So one becomes, look at one. One will be residue of the function f at iota is equal to one over two, and now the value of d square over d z square of one over z, that is two over z cube. And here, z is equal to iota. Two will cancel with two. And now let us put z is equal to iota, but you can see the remaining function is just one over z, Q, so z is here equal to iota. So I will write one over iota q. Now iota q can be written as one over iota square into iota. But iota square is minus one, so we can write one over minus iota. In other words, now residue of the function f at the point iota is equal to minus one over iota. And that's all, that is the required residue of the given function.